not a spring chicken. Yes, as the news goes on, people mourn um, Amy Winehouse's, let's just say, 27-year-old passing. And looks like Speaker Boehner may be on his way out with the debt deal. So we now have Old Cam on with OFN and News Video Web with comments on the headlines of today. And Boehner, is he really go on his way out? Tea Party wants him gone because they said that uh, what he did, uh, what enraged everybody was his uh, $1.3 bill, trillion dollar deficit reduction package was $800 billion in new taxes and one total billion, one billion in real cuts. You know, it's just uh, that, that, that uh, five and a half hours of government spending was all he was going to cut in one day. I can't believe that that's all they came up with. No, that's all they could find was one billion dollars because they said they have to understand Bainyard and all those other people, they're old, you know, they're old establishment. They're not, they, you know, that him and his, we're going to have a deficit finding commission that's going to be assigned to uh, to come up with means of cutting the deficit. Well, they've had 17 in the House and not a single one of their recommendations have been followed. Obama had a deficit reduction committee of which he decided, uh, you know, since he would, that they recommended cuts in the social programs, he couldn't go along with that, so. Oh, well, that may be why all the late night comedians were saying if you really want a budget cut, you need a Congress. That's right, so. And Bush and the Republicans will bear the responsibility of any default. I know, he said that uh, Obama and his people can't get off the thing. You were, were three years into the uh, Obama administration, but the reason why that he has problems is because Bush and the Republicans have uh, simply destroyed the economy. So, and like I said, the market this week isn't going down because of the deficit follows. The market is going down because, as I knew, and virtually anybody other than on Fox Business knew, and Wall Street Journal, and other businesses, nobody is buying anything. If no one's buying anything, the businesses aren't selling anything. If they're not selling anything, the manufacturers aren't producing anything. And if they're not producing anything, they're not hiring anybody. That really, you know, I knew they weren't because go to the store, go to shopping malls. You don't see people walking out with lots of bags of stuff. And Venezuela's ailing Chavez delegates some power. I like it. He wants to stay in power for another 30 years until he's about 90 some years old. And he, they said he's lost so much weight. Right now, the, I mean, they can tell he's dying. Well, he, he, he's not going to where he needs the treatment. He's going back to Cuba where they can't treat him for his problem. He needs to come to the United States, but that would sort of embarrass Castro if he went to the United States to get medical treatment. That's where his people go, of course, but... The U.S. warns that bin Laden's death increases terror risk. How in the world does that increase terror risk? Uh, well, because bin Laden... <laughs> Since somebody was killed, but it probably wasn't Bin Laden. Oh. And then because there is no proof that Bin Laden was, is dead, the Muslims will not accept uh, uh, Obama's statement that he got Bin Laden without any body. So therefore, uh, it's this thing, you know, it just business as usual. So uh, he accomplished nothing but got himself, uh, you know, for a couple of days, I got Bin Laden. And East Coast gets relief as other states continue to cook. Yeah, I'll be I know they'd probably like this weather, wouldn't they? Yeah, but this is California, folks. The weather so sucks that we can't. We're not. We can go to the beach. There's nobody on the beach. All you got to do is look. There's nobody on the beach, uh, except for the police officer, of course. But um, mm. like, why do you need a police officer and a lifeguard tower when there's nobody on the beach? And traumatized Norway tries to resolve normality after attacks. The problem is, is that is uh, they have a police department, a good police department. They have a good small military, and they couldn't stop a person from shooting people for 90 minutes because you know that that won't that will not go. You know. Does it pass the muster? Plus the fact that they're trying to uh, the uh, Swedish, the Norwegian government is trying to support Obama's view that Muslims are good people. So you had to have a blonde-haired, blue-eyed guy that's making a point of telling everybody that he believes in Christ and he's a Christian that doesn't go to church and hasn't ever been to church as far as anyone knows. Yeah, uh, that doesn't sound right either. Because he's probably... Okay, I, I, I was watching a thing last Did night. Did you read the script? Yeah, it basically. I was watching a thing, though, on 
uh, television, they, like they said, the one guy said that what people fail to understand is that uh, Muslims come with blonde hair, they come with blue eyes, mm -hmm. they come with fair skin, you know, they don't necessarily, said they're like everybody else, they said they are Caucasians, they come fat, tall, small, thin, blonde, I mean, red they, look, they can look just like another person. Yeah, and depending upon where it comes, the Moors in uh, the Moors in Spain are all blonde-haired and blue-eyed for a problem. So, and Syrian opposition calls for civil disobedience. Yeah, you know, you know, and uh, and, and uh, what's his name? Obama says that he's lost the respect of the people in Syria. He no longer represents the people, and that he should step down. Well. Dictators don't care what the people want. That's why they're dictators. Mm -hmm. And three groomsmen among four killed in Wisconsin boat crash. Okay, okay, let's put it this way. Every day since the, the every day since Obama had a problem with the debt crisis and has been doing his television stuff, uh, the gun control people have been on everybody's backs about. Every day there's new shootings in the United States. Every single day now. And they need to control, they said the only way they're going to stop it is with stricter gun control laws. So Obama's trying to get people off his backside. You know, I heard this morning, one of the people said, like on a jobs thing, they, they, they find it amazing that companies that support Obama are pulling jobs out of states that don't support Obama and shifting them to China. Oh, that was the next thing I was bringing up. What was that about this morning, about GE moving jobs to China? Uh, Wait a minute. Was there a conflict of interest with the jobs are? Oh, yeah, but he's not. He said, well, I'm bringing jobs to this country. No, he's taking jobs out of this country. The, the problem is, they said, it's not only Jeffrey Emmel. It's every business leader that supports Obama. Uh, here's, a, here's a trick for all you people. Most big businesses are owned by Democrats, not by Republicans. And the anti-union sentiment is mostly from Democrats, not from Republicans. Because the Republican has a small business that doesn't hire enough people to be forced to be unionized. So, they're, you know, the union problems with the Republicans is on a state level because they can't afford to pay the benefits package the Democrats voted for them. So what happened to all this? We're going to penalize the companies when they move overseas. Not if you're Democrats. Only Republicans. The same thing as they said this morning, Obama's people. There is no spirit of compromise among the anarchists that are trying to destroy our nation. They just want to bring President Obama down because they know that he represents the people. Um, I don't see any spirit of compromise whatsoever. You had yesterday Democrats that basically are fed up with Obama tried to get Carney to answer questions. What are the president's plans to cut? What is Harry Reid's plans to cut? And they said, well, you're just doing nothing but reading from the Republican playbook. And they said, no, we're reading from our playbook. What are the pre And so he just ignored them. Oh, really? Yeah, the president is now ignoring the left trying to find out what his so-called deficit well because they all want to know is he actually is he going to cut medicare and medicaid because if they do they're going to bounce his rear end but he has no intentions this is just a ploy folks i but, thought he was on that way out the other day but they don't trust obama they said he can't he's losing the swing states now too and his speech his appeal to the states of uh, the people to turn against the republicans basically resulted in basically a, a, a normal day of calls to congress and a lot of the calls supporting the republicans stop spending because the tea party people are more likely to tie up the lines than democrats are oh really they're better organized that's why Republicans, if they uh, support the candidate, will always win. What happens is Republicans don't support their own candidates, so they'll set on their hands like uh, black people in union will do in the next election. An Illinois congressman arrested during the D.C. immigration protest. I know, because uh, Illinois is passing anti-immigration laws because they got too many people taking their jobs from the union people, so... Oh, is that what's going on? I know, isn't that amazing that the liberal states... Okay, the state... Illinois is flat busted. They raised taxes on business, which basically chased everybody out, of, chasing the businesses out of the state. So now they're going anti-illegal uh, anti immigrant legislation to try to keep the few people they have that are still living in the state working. So. And tropical storm kills at least 14 in the Philippines. I know. The storms are getting, you know, the, the, actually here's what I said. The storms are not getting any worse than what they ever were. 
It's just that people are paying more attention to the fact that storms are happening. And U.S. returns 33 Mexican troops who strayed into Texas? Yeah, they, they didn't stray into Texas. It's just it's, they came across the border hunting and, um, and almost got away with it. But oh, and a monte bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. I mean, this one, you know, basically if you're damned, if you're doing damned, if you don't, then you might as well do.